Hello everyone! Today I'm going to talk about what carriers we use for our cats because we get some questions every now and then about our carriers. Carriers are good because they provide a safe place for your cat to be when you travel anywhere outside of your house, such as to the vet or to the groomer. We don't bring our cats to the groomer because we do it ourselves. We brush our cats weekly and we trim their nails every two weeks. We give them sanitary trims every few months, which is where we trim the fur around their butt and hind legs so that it stays clean back there. It's a lot less stressful for our cats if we do it ourselves at home. Carriers make your life easier because you know your cat is safe and also they cannot climb like all over you in the car or get into things in your car. Also, this is a pretty rare thing to happen, but if your house ever catches on fire, then it's a good idea to keep your carrier somewhere that you can easily grab it and put your cats inside. I don't know what I would do without our carriers. I think it's a good idea to get your cat used to a carrier as soon as you bring them home, whether you get a kitten or if you got an older cat, you can still train it to get used to being in a carrier. So if you're trying to get your kitten or cat used to a carrier, then the first thing I would recommend is leaving the carrier out in a room where your cats are often, such as your living room and let them sniff the carrier and get used to it and leave the door of the carrier open. You can also put treats inside the carrier to lure them in and make it a positive experience that they will look forward to. When you think your cats are comfortable going in the carrier, you can put them inside and close the door. Reassure them that they are okay and don't let them out if they start to meow. We wait until our cats stop making noise and then we let them out. And you can practice closing them in and letting them out however much you want. Try to only do it for a few minutes at a time when you practice this. And obviously the more that you do this, the faster they will get used to it. We got all of our cats used to being in a carrier when they were kittens. So it's easy for us to put them in and take them out. They know that their carriers are a safe and cozy place for them and they know that they're not trapped when they're in there. They know that they will get treats for going in and they like being enclosed inside. Just think how you would feel if you were a five-year-old cat, for example, and you'd never been in a carrier before. How scared you would feel going in for the first time. Cats need to get used to things first, so that's why I say just let them get used to it and never ever use the carrier as punishment. Never lock your cat inside the carrier if they're behaving bad or anything like that. Always make the carriers a positive experience for your cat. So in this video I will show you our favorite carriers that we have and tell you why they are our favorites. You can purchase these carriers on Chewy.com. It took me a while to find these because a lot of the carriers I looked at online were just too small for our cats. So first we'll start with these carriers. These are both hard plastic carriers and my favorite thing about them is that they have two doors, one on the front and one on the top. So if you have a hard time putting your cat in the front of the carrier, you can open the top up and put them in that way. So this is the Petmate Two Door Top Load Dog and Cat Kennel. They call it a kennel. And here we have the tan and gray color. Inside we have a 22 inch mat for comfort and it makes it more cozy inside for our cats. These carriers were about $50 each, but they were worth the price because they are good quality, they look nice, and I love the fact that they have two doors. These carriers measure 24 by 16 by 14 inches, so you can fit one big cat inside or possibly two cats. It was easy to put together as well.
The other carriers we love are the Sherpa Original Deluxe Airline Approved Dog and Cat Carrier Bags, which are right here. This is the carrier I used to get Molly because she came from a breeder in Kentucky, so I flew on two airplanes with this carrier. A hard carrier would not have fit inside the cabin of the plane under the seat, so it's good to have a soft carrier such as this if you ever need to travel and fly on a plane. This carrier is the largest soft carrier I could find that I liked and it measures 19 by 11 by 11 inches. It has a top zipper door so you can put your cats in through the top. It also has a removable pad so you can wash it and it has a shoulder strap and pockets for storing items. These carriers by the brand Sherpa are pretty expensive, but they are good quality and we have several in different colors. They last a long time and I think we paid around 50 for each of ours. They also come with these replacement liners, which is really nice. There are cheaper carriers out there for cats. These are just our favorites. They make our lives and our cats' lives easier. That's all for this video. I hope this was helpful. I will put the link to both of these carriers in the description of this video if you're interested in getting them for your cats. Thank you for watching!